Today's video was brought to you by Audio Engine. Great speakers for an even better price. Hey guys, what's up, Apple Fanatic, and today I am going to be doing a probably 10 or 12 part tutorial on GarageBand. This is going to be the first part. This is going to be the very basics of GarageBand. Um, we're not going to get into any of the loops, voice, electric guitar. We're not really going to get into any of this. We're just going to take a quick walkthrough of each, um, each or the first couple, um, piano, electric guitar, loops, voice, um, we're not going to really get too much into it. It's just going to be a quick walkthrough of how to set it up. And yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, the first option, um, well, actually, if you go over to the side before we start with new project, you're going to have buttons for learn to play, intro to guitar. So if you have a guitar, they have a um, program that will teach you the, um, that will teach you the chords. Um, I believe you have to buy it, but as you can see, it says this, this all right, never mind. Okay. Um, this is going to show you the basic chord for each note you play. And it will, and it should identify what note you are playing. As you can see, if you play a note, I don't have a guitar because I don't play the guitar, but um, this echo sounds really freaked out. Um, but you should be able to tell, we've got a tuner up here, so you can string a note like Ba, da, e, G, and it will play the note. See, I'm an awful singer, but that was just a uh, quick tutorial on that. So we're going to get out of that, and we are going to hit X to get out of that again. And um, I hope it recorded that, because that was pretty epic. Um, so as you can see, the, the chord trainer, and then you can download more lessons. Um, this is the lesson store where you obviously download the lessons. You get artist lessons, piano lessons, guitar lessons. We'll take a quick walk through that. And as you can see, we have um, guitarists up here that are going to teach you how to play it. So you can download them. So you just click on it. And I don't, I don't know if they're free. Hit download all. I'm personally not going to. Oh, I guess I'm downloading them. I personally don't want to download these. So I'm not. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Um, so you can download them. So, oh, they're huge. Um, so yeah, let's not download them. But as you can see, they're free lessons. I thought they were paid for some reason. Apparently they're not. But they're free lessons that you can download right off the App Store, and um, which is pretty cool. And so if you're learning the guitar and you want to learn the guitar for basics, you can use this, and it will teach you the very basics of the notes. Um, then you go down to Magic Garage. And this will, let's just click on one. All right, so as you can see, we now have the option. And it will show you what instruments are playing. It will allow you to flow, not flow, scroll over the instrument. So this is the bass, this is a guitar. This is, come on, your instrument. Um, oops, I went full screen. That was cool. Um, and which is pretty cool, and you get the melody, and that's a harmonica, and then you can choose, you can switch out the instruments, so you can go suitcase piano, and you can change your guitar. Give it a second to load to different guitars, and then you can change the genres. This is country, I believe. And you can change it to reggae, and it will take a while to load, so we're not going to do it. And then you can change the um, the whether you want to play the whole song, or you just want to take snippets, and then you'll have them play together, and you can then do that. All right. So the next thing we're going to show is the iPhone ringtone. Um, I'm not really good with this, but as you can see, you have the loops, the voice, and the ring example ringtone. So we're not going to we'll play an example ringtone. But basically what it will do is you'll be able to go into the loops, which I'll get into in the next tutorial or into tutorials and get more into the basics of the loops and you can make your own ringtone. So we'll just hit play. All 
right, so um, I was dancing. I don't know if you heard me dancing. But yeah, that's um, pretty much it for the ringtones. And I will obviously show you more about all this stuff. But this was just a really quick tutorial on the sides. Um, I said I was going to get into this, but that will be next tutorial. This can probably be a very long series. But if you're interested, keep going because I'm pretty good with this crap. And I like doing it. So um, stay tuned. I'm really good at the loops. I'm really good at the keyboard. And I'm really good at the movie and the songwriting part. Um, but yeah, so guys, if you're interested, I will put an annotation on both sides of the videos once I get more into them. And you'll be able to just skip to the videos you want to go to. Or I'll put links in the description and it, you'll be able to skip to the videos. So guys, pretty much it. For Apple Fanatics, we say in peace. Oh, and before I forget to mention, this video is brought to you by Audio Engine. They were cool enough to ship me out these headphones, which um, I'm recording. I mean, these speakers, which I'm recording from my microphone right now. But um, once we get into the actual making of the, the music, we'll be testing out these speakers, um, blasting them. We can't play it too loud right now because my dad's working in the other room. But during the day, when I ha weekends, I will be using these in the full functionality so you can actually hear the crisp sound that we're making opposed to some dinky speakers. Or in my case, I don't know if you can even hear that music because they're connected to my headphones. But um, guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to say thanks to you guys. Uh, Audio Engine USA, link will be in the description for them. Send them a sweet pair of A5s. Uh, Apple Fanatics, me saying peace.